So if you're watching this video, you're probably wanting to know how to use a non-creality webcam on your Ender 3 V3KE. Well, let me tell you, you've come to the right place. The first thing you want to do is plug in your webcam. You can put it into one of the USB slots on the side of the Nebula pad. Once the webcam is plugged on in, it is now time to enable root control. So go into the settings and enable root control. You're going to see a warning message and it won't let you click root for about 30 seconds because it wants you to read it, but don't worry. Once you've enabled root, your printer is going to be 300 times even better than it was before. Now the webcam I'm using is from Logitech. It shoots at max 1080p resolution. I find that it's just pretty plug and play, works on every printer that I've put it into. And hopefully yours will too. Once it is enabled, you'll see it gives you a username and a password. Just make a note of those. They should be fairly similar to what I have. So now it's time to go back to your Mac or PC and and install Pate. So Putty is a free program that allows you to connect to your printer via SSH. And all you need to do is enter in the IP address for your specific printer. So the one that we're gonna be using is uh, this bottom one here. And all you have to do is click copy IP address and then enter into Putty and then press open. All right, so we're gonna be entering in root as the username and the password is Creality2023. So once you see that lovely green root sign, that means you're in, you're officially a hacker. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is choosing the correct directory. So we're gonna be typing in CD slash USR slash DATA. Now we are in the correct directory. We can move on to download the software. So I'm gonna be putting all these links in the description. All you have to do is copy paste and you'll be good to go. Copy, paste, enter. So this is the helper script, which is basically this nifty little program that uh, automates installing a whole bunch of really useful stuff on your machine. So once that is done, we now want to install it. So again, copy paste and then enter. So you can see this has a graphic user interface which makes the whole process super duper easy. So what we wanna do is press one for the install menu. And the first thing we wanna install is Moonraker and Nginx. So I'm gonna press one, enter, Yes, enter. So once that's done, we want to go and install an interface. So whichever one you, you want to use, Fluid or Mainsail. I actually think Mainsail works better for webcams. So uh, I personally use this anyway, uh, but if <laughs> this is a webcam tutorial, let's install Mainsail. So number three and press yes. Uh, the next thing we want to do is install four and five. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now it comes time for the camera. So uh, you have two options, either Nebula camera control or USB camera support. So uh, if you plug in the Nebula, it's gonna work straight away and I don't really see any use for this unless you screw something up, <laughs> you need to reinstall it. But what we're gonna be using is number 13, USB camera support. And this should allow access to a multitude of different types of webcams. So let's go into 13 and yes. Now before it's gonna start installing, it's gonna give you an option for a few different resolutions, 480, 720 and 1080. I personally like having mine in 1080 because it allows me to see finer details to see if anything has screwed up, but it just depends on uh, your own personal preference. So I'm gonna enter in 1080. If you want a bit more performance, I'd go 720, but I'm okay with seeing just like five frames per second, just so I know that um, the print hasn't failed. <laughs> Make sure you add that P on the end. There we go. So now we have the camera support installed. It's up to you if you wanna install the time-lapse option. I have no interest in making time lapses, so uh, I'm just gonna leave that uninstalled. But if you wanna do that, then install number 11 here. So now we have the webcam installed. Uh, let's go and check it out and see if it's working. Um, what you can do is exit out of this, go Q, exit, and then I wanna type in reboot. So once the printer has restarted, we want to access the main cell interface via the IP address with 4409 added on the end and a little semicolon in the middle or colon, whatever it is. After you can see the main cell interface, we're going to go into settings, webcam, add webcam. And there you go. You should see your webcam sitting there nicely. Now you can decide to show or hide the FPS counter or if you want to orient it horizontally or vertically. Let's call this totally 
tube -ular webcam of awesomeness and then we go save and as you can see the webcam is now activated now I don't believe that this webcam will work with Creality Print because it's not a dedicated Creality camera but that's okay because we don't really want to monitor it on this anyway. The reason that it's better to monitor it on mainsail is because you can have a full screen version of the camera. So there you go, everyone. That's how you install a non-creality camera onto the Ender 3 V3 KE. Hope this has helped. If you've found that it has helped, make sure you hit that like button and then send me $5 billion. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.